and a very warm welcome to the Spice Arena in Penang for semi-finals day at the Victor Far East Malaysia Masters. The first of 14 tournaments on the 2016 BWF Grand Prix Gold circuit. Of course, the Grand Prix Gold started back in 2007. Only five tournaments on the circuit then. Now we're up to 14. One more than last year. Our new event this year, the Thailand Masters, the third event. And of course, last year we welcomed the New Zealand Open as well. So the Grand Prix Gold circuit is growing into a major force in the world of badminton. Well, as I say, it is semi-finals day today here in Penang. Five matches for you, and we're starting with women's singles. And Sung Ji Hyung, the number one seed, the 2015 World Championship bronze medalist. She's up against a two-time World Championship bronze medalist in the form of PV Sindhu. Then we turn to women's doubles, and Tang Yuan Ting and Yu Yang, the number six seeds, in their sixth tournament together. And remarkably, they're looking to reach their sixth final. They're up against the number two seeds, Chang Ye Na and Lee So Hee. Then we go to men's singles and Zenudin of Malaysia. Beaten two seeds on his way through to the semi-final. He has been a sensation this week. He's up against the number two seed, Shrikanth Kadambi, playing here for the first time. Then we've got men's doubles and two-time world championship bronze medalists, Kim Ji Jung and Kim Sa Rang, up against the former world number ones and three-time former champions of this event, Ku Kian Kiat, and Tan Bu Hyong today looking to reach their fifth final at this particular event. And then we finish off with men's singles. The number one seed, the former world number one, the four-time former champion of this event up against Tommy Sugiyato. Women's singles semi-final. So as far as the... A women's singles draw is a concerned. Well, there you can see from quarter-final stage onwards, six seeds through to the quarter-final. Of course, we started with eight seeds. Now, let's make mention of Kirsty Gilmore in the bottom half of the draw. First European-born player to reach the women's singles semi-final at this particular event. Of course, Pi Hong Yang did reach the semi-final twice. We're representing France, but she wasn't born in Europe. We're going to concentrate on the top half of the draw with the number one and the number three seeds. Women's singles semi-finals. Umpire, Yong Loi Kong, Malaysia. Well, a PA there. In Servi Judge Lao Chen Lia, Malaysia. Introducing the players. Ladies and gentlemen, women's singles semi finalists. Uh -huh. So here comes Sung Ji Kyung, the number one seed from Korea. Only making her second appearance here, and this is her second semi-final at the uh, Malaysia Grand Prix Gold event. There she is. Her opponents, Pusala Venkata Sindhu, the number three C, what a tall, elegant athlete she is. Sung Ji Hyun. Her opponent against Kusala Venkata Sindhu. So these two players are reaching the semi final, as indeed they were meant to do the number one and three seeds in the bottom half of the draw. The number four seed, Bei Yung Ju, she lost yesterday in the quarter final stage. And Yamaguchi, the number two seed, well, she retired after just four points of her first round match. So there are umpire for this one, our, the first duty of our umpire, Yonglu Kong of Malaysia, is the toss of the coin, and then the players can decide 
either to choose which end they wish to start the match, or they can choose to serve, or they can choose to receive. Now, the players have been telling me there's a bit of a drift in this arena, and from what I've watched earlier on in the week, I concur with that, so I suspect that one of them will have chosen which end they wish to start. So there is Sung Ji Hyun, the 24-year-old from Seoul in South Korea. Current ranking of eight, she has been as high as three, spent three weeks as number three from uh, the 8th of October last year. Now, as you can see, she's pretty tall as well. That translates into five foot nine. And of course, she was a semi-finalist here in 2011, five years ago. She lost out to the number one seed, Sina Nawal, on that occasion, and Sina then lost in the final of this event. Well, so far, she's been in terrific form as Sung Ji Hyung. She's won her three matches in two straight games. Fusala Venkata Sindhu, the number three seeds, 20 year old uh, born in Sakandarabad, which is uh, just north of Hyderabad. It's really part of the city and lives in Hyderabad and trains now at the Pulela Gopichand Academy. Now I told you she was tall and she really is. That's about five foot 11. She has been in the top 10, as you can see, as far as her ranking is concerned, has been as high as nine. So she's had her injury problems last year, early on into the year, had time out with a stress fracture of her left foot out for six weeks and therefore had to withdraw from three events. Well, uh, this will be the sixth meeting between these two players. And as you can see, of the previous five, PV Sindhu has the advantage. But not only did Sung Ji Hyung win that last encounter, Sung Ji Hyung has won the last two. Uh, that, as you can see, quarterfinal stage of last year's World Championships. And then Sung Ji Hyung losing in the semi-final. But what a battle it was. It was an hour and 22 minutes, I can tell you, uh, for that last meeting at the World Championships in Jakarta. So, as I was saying, our umpire is Yong Loi Kong of Malaysia, Lao Chen Lia of Malaysia is our service judge. So final preparations for the players. It's nerve-wracking time. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, PV Sintu, India. And on my left, Song Ji Yun, Korea. Song Ji Yun to serve. Love all. Play. So the umpire calls for play to get underway. The number one seed, Song Ji Hyun, nearest to us. The number three seed, Pusala Venkata Sindhu, far side of the court as we look down. Just off balance there as she tried to play that. Service over. One love. Pushed it wide. Well, I was saying Two that Sung Ji Hyung 
all of her matches won in two straight games, including the quarterfinal yesterday against the number five seed Sayaka Sato of Japan. 21-12, 21 21-9. 21 One, two. PV Sindhu's had her trouble in the second round against Kaori Imabepu of Japan. Went the full distance there, dropped the second game before winning through in an hour and three minutes. Service over. Three, one. Goodness, that's an incredible shot. Two, Expect the three. unexpected. Normally a player in trouble like that, and you'd expect them to clear the shuttle, not drive it cross court for an outright winner. That's amazing. Oh, that's lovely. My oh, goodness me, hasn't she improved from the front of the court? Four, two. I can remember a couple of years ago, myself and my colleague Morton Frost were discussing PV Sindhu and saying what talent she had got Service and how she needed to improve her Three, front court play. She's certainly worked on that. Deceptive. Now taking the shuttle very early. And really in singles, if you command the net, you tend to command the, the game. Service over. Five, three. Again, good pressure from the front of the court, setting up the rally. And look how quick she is to follow that up to make the winner. This is a very, very good start by PV Sindhu. <laughs> yeah. Service good order. accurate smash, though. Four, five. Yeah, and again. There we are. We're seeing a whole host Service of variety on. from the front of the Six, court from PV four. Sindhu. And the big key is taking it early. Look at this. Comes from above the, the shuttle. Then you've got the options. Yeah. Service over. Five, six. six. Jihyung taking it early at the net now. It's a very good rally. Oh, my word. That's brilliant. What a shot Six, from four. Sung Jihyung. Well, clearly the longest rally of the match so far. And that beautiful disguise on the final shot. So back level, six all.
Ooh. Well, that was mighty close. Seven, six. Yeah, I'm surprised that Sun Ji Hung isn't being spoken to by the umpire because her left hand went out, raised as if to indicate to the umpire. Oh, actually, it was a little clenched fist, wasn't it? Celebrating, but it has the same effect. If you're celebrating, then the line judge is bound to call it out. Well, not bound to. That's over-exaggerating. <laughs> may influence the line judge's call, is what I'm trying to say. Good rally. It's going wide. Eight, six. Oh, run of four straight points. Both these players come from a very good sporting pedigree. PV Sindhu. Both her parents used to play professional volleyball. In fact, her father, who's here in Penang, was captain of the Indian volleyball team. Service over. And captain when they Seven, won a bronze medal at eight. the 1986 Asian Games in Seoul. Yeah, as far as this lady is concerned, both of her parents played international badminton. Highly successful too. I've enjoyed the old battle against her mother on the badminton court. Yeah, that's a nice backhand. Eight, all. Cute angle and placement, that was the key. Missed it. Service over. Nine, eight. Didn't miss by much. Absolutely down the line. Uh, but the drift, as far as I can make out, is making the shuttle fly a little bit faster coming towards us as we look down on the court. Hence, that smash going just a fraction long. Yes, a little horrible come on from Sindhu to herself. Oh, it's a good tight match in these early stages, isn't it? just tosses her racket in the Eleven, air in a little bit nine, of frustration uh, and that is understandable uh, she got Sung Ji Hyung under pressure look how late she's taking that yeah no wonder she's disappointed but to the mid game interval Sung Ji Hyung the number one seed with a two point advantage Coach to PV Sindhu. Yes. 
listen to. Well, interesting. The Korean coach still giving instruction. He's allowed to do that. 11, 9, play. That's a good smash. Yeah. Service and I was talking about the drift and, of course, shuttle flying faster coming towards us and certainly towards Sung Ji Hyung. And it means that when she's going to lift the shuttle, the Korean, she's got to make sure she gets it deep enough. And that one certainly wasn't deep enough for the tall PV Sindhu to intercept well. No. 11 all. Clearly wide. Oh, good defense from PV Sindhu. <laughs> Missed it. It's wide. Well, you love it. You know, Sung Ji Hyung doesn't like the call. Sort of a, a look to the umpire as if appealing for an overall. We'll get a good look at it here. No, I thought that was the correct call. I thought it was definitely wide. PV Sindhu, who won this tournament back in 2013, beating Gu Juan of Singapore in the final. Oh, that's brilliant net play again. 13-11. Look again how early she's taking that, spinning the shuttle. Look at it. That is fantastic. Lunging forward, racket arm outstretched, textbook. 14, 11. Well, I don't know what Madumito Abish said in the coaching break there, but whatever she said, it's worked. Five straight points. Yeah. Fifteen, eleven. Make that six straight points. Without reply. Sixteen, eleven. Missed it. Well, this is extraordinary, isn't it? Eight straight points. down at the mid-game interval and since then till now there's only been one player in it oh yes that's nice finally the run comes to an end well 17 and I wonder if that little run of points will be decisive in this opening game. I suspect it might. Oh, she hasn't dropped a game all tournament so far. Sung Ji Hyung. Oh, hoping a 
change of shuttle might bring a change of fortune. Oh yes, that's nice. 13, 17. Yeah, big key taking it early, and I think she can afford to stand her ground, Sun Ji Hyung, from this end of the court. Uh, because if her opponent clears, there's a high possibility it may go long. And therefore, as a player, you just shift your base position a little further forward up the court. You can take those drops and net shots a little earlier. Well, that's a heck of a good lift. Oh, lucky net cord. There. Yeah. Fortune 14, uh, with Sung Ji Hyung. Look at that. It was supposed to be a lift. PV Sindhu did well to get it back. Yeah, but simple put away in the end for the Korean. A lovely block. 15, 17. Uh, I think PV Sindhu needs to be a little bit careful with some of her fast attacking play from the back of the court because Sung Ji Hyung is now just blocking off her opponent's smash and blocking cross court, which means that PV Sindhu has the full diagonal of the court to scamper. Not only physically very demanding and very draining. Uh, but uh, trying to get there early is virtually impossible because the diagonal is the longest distance to run. Oh, well, take that. You do it to me, I'll do it back. That's lovely. It is always so intriguing. See a player getting caught out by their opponent and then saying, OK, well, I'll try doing that to them. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, now that's so clever. So I do like 16, that. 18. Instead of the power play, slicing across the feathers, causing the spin. Spin makes the shuttle move through the air, the extra air resistance as the shuttle is spinning means that it slows quicker and therefore dies a lot quicker, hence the acute angle. That's a good clear. Uh, it was an opportunity. 17, wasn't really under pressure, PV Sindhu. Well, so much for my theory that that run of eight straight points from PV Sindhu would be decisive in this opening game. All credit to Sung Ji Hyung. Battled her way back, and now there's just one point in it. Oh, magnificent. Oh, this is real quality. Look at that backhand. And it's not just one shot. Quality shot followed up with another quality shot.
good rally. Oh, it's a very good rally. And what on earth happened there? Was it just the acuteness of shot? Was it just the angle, or did she stumble as she moved forward? Oh, I don't know what happened. Here we go. No, she just couldn't reach it. Just no power in the legs to push forward. There, her coach, Park Tae Sang. Yeah, she's all right. The umpire asking if she's okay. So it is game point opportunities, three of them to be precise, for PV Sindhu. That's good. Service over. Look at the body position. 20. She played that smash. He was right behind the shuttle, Sung Ji Hyung. Hence the power. So one game point has been well saved. Two more remain for Sindhu. Second one well saved. 19, 20. Good intensity. Oh, it's gone long. And third time of asking. And PV Sindhu converts. 21-19 confirms the umpire. Uh, 24 minutes of fascinating women's singles for that opening game. Madamita Bish. Confirmation of game number one. Number three seed PV Sindhu. A game up against the number one seed Sung Ji Hyung. Good judgment, wasn't it? Watches it, looks down at the line. It wasn't long by much. Yeah, I think relief as much as elation. Uh, he still looks reasonably calm. Madhu was a player in my era. Yes, I think Madhu Mitabish and travels with the team an awful lot, and of course, Pulela Gopichand, his academy in Hyderabad. 
huge, huge influence on Indian badminton. A real, real force to be reckoned with. Now they've just employed a full-time doubles coach as well in the form of Tankin Her from Malaysia. Second game. Love or play. Oh, look at that defense. Oh, my word, how did she get that back? Oh, I couldn't get the next one. No, Sung Chi Hyung just indicates to the umpire that the court will need to be mopped, and she's absolutely right. Look at that. What a fabulous opening rally to this second game. We are still not happy that... Yeah, we can see a bit of the perspiration on the court surface there. Thank you. Well, I didn't really catch what Madhu was saying to PV Sindhu in the two-minute time out there at the change of ends, but the one thing I did catch hold of was she was talking about crosses. And in that last rally, we saw the cross block off the her opponent's smash once again. So, obviously, either the Madhu has told her to be wary of her opponent doing it to her, or she wants her to do the same thing. We'll look out for that. Yeah, no question it was wide. I've not seen that shot before from PV Sindhu. Back out cross court net shot from low. Another good rally. Yeah. Good disguise from Sung Ji Hyung. One, two. And I do love it when I see the players wanting to be adventurous, trying out new shots. Well, she's only 20. Plenty of time for development from PV Sindhu. I can remember three or four years ago uh, talking about needing to work on her defence. She said she was working on her defence but wanted to play a more aggressive style. And that certainly fascinated me because, of course, you need a good defence to be able to turn your defence into attacking play. Two, oh. long. Three, well, I'm wondering two. whether I've got it totally wrong about the drift. As, as the game progressed, I thought more and more shuttles were maybe going long at far side of the court. Four, two. Four straight points. And that's landed in. Five, two. I suspect more and more that I gave you duff information at the start of this about the drift. Yeah, that's definitely landed in. There we go. Six, two.
clearly in. Yes, a very, very Seven, good spell two. by Sung Ji Hyung. Seven straight points. Uh, he's part of the psychological mind games that go on in sport nowadays. I'm not going to go and pick up the shuttle. Uh, maybe nearer to us, but you hit it into the net. I'll make you pick it up. Oh, yes, that's nice. Very Service nice. Over. Three, seven. Oh, yes, well taken, my goodness. Four, she had seven. been pushed to the back, brought forward, pushed to the back again, brought forward. And that final shot from PV Sindhu, having done so much running in that rally, to get behind it and play the winner was sensational. Look at that. Reverse angle, too. Would have been so much easier to smash it straight down the line, but her opponent probably would have got it back. Yeah, uh, good judgment, just wide. Five, seven. Cool, good. Service over. Eight, five. It did look as if it was going out, but it seemed to come back in. That's plumb on the line. Well, that would certainly confirm the sideways drift, which is from right to left as we look down. Nine, five. Yeah, and again, those punch clears. A clear played so with so disguise where you Six, just nine. punch the racket head through at the last moment. Service over. 10-6. I'd really love to know which player chose which end first. As they both seem to be enjoying playing from that far side a little better. They can hit through with the clears. Service over. 7-10.
Oh. Well, once again, that round-the-head smash from PV Sindhu played cross-court. Well, that has been devastating today. Just wide. Nine, ten. Yeah, so took it too late. She knows it. That was a sloppy shot. And that means that the number one seed, Sung Ji Hyung, has the advantage at the mid-game interval of game number two. Coach, I think, is asking for more ver variety of the overhead shots, variety of pace, and variety of angle. Yes, and I think he's very wise because PV Sindhu has been feeding off her power shots, her smashes. Uh, she just needs to mix it up a little bit more. Eleven, nine, play. Yeah! Now that was Ten, interesting. Eleven. Body smash. We've hardly seen any of those in this match so far, have we? Very, very difficult for an opponent then to create any sort of angle off that defensive shot. Service over. Well, ten. Yeah, just completely mistimed it. Goodness me. 14, 10. Well, if you're in slight hesitation about whether to leave the shuttle or not, your opponent, Sung Ji Hyung, was so far out of position. All she had to do, really, PV Sindhu, was play the shuttle over and into court somewhere other than that front net position where her opponent was standing, and it would have been an outright winner. Why leave it? Oh, that's nice. 15, 10.
overdone it. 16, well, 10. six point advantage. Are we going to be treated to a third and deciding game? Looks as if we may be. Now, why is she disappointed with that? Did she know she'd serve too short? High serve, not particularly good lengths. Well, if your opponent makes an error off it. Oh, that's nice. Well, we're just three points away from a third and deciding game. Mm, signs to me like that shot from PV Sindhu that she's beginning to get frustrated uh, that she's not winning the points a little easier. There's Tankim Her on the right. Now join the coaching staff in India. Hey, thank you. Former great Malaysian men's doubles player. Get ready. Oh my goodness, well there you go. So when it works, Eleven, it's sublime. 18. That is utterly delightful. Service so over. 19-11. Yeah, and then what a waste. Eight of the last nine points. Again to Sung Ji Hyung. Nine of the last ten points. Twenty game point eleven. And a whole host of game point opportunities to send this to the third and deciding game, yes. Uh, Madhu looking a little more concerned now. Oh, that's nice. Service over. 12, 20. Yeah, that's something she hasn't been able to do quite so well in this second game. PV Sindhu is control the front court area. Game. That's gone long, and it is indeed one game Second apiece. Game. One by Song Ji Yun. Twenty-one, twelve, one game all. Confirms our umpire. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. From that mid-game interval. So their confirmation, one game apiece. 21 minutes for that second game. Yeah, well, both the coaches are using all of their allotted time. 
talk tactics, encouragement. So third and deciding game, one game apiece. PV Sindhu absolutely brilliant in that opening game, 21-19. Sung Ji Hyung fighting back, especially the second half of the second game from 10-9, race through to 21-12. So the momentum, one would think, is with Sung Ji Hyung. Oh, good defence. I don't believe it! What a rally! One love. How did she get that backhand back? And then the defensive shot. Uh, but this time PV Sindhu keeping calm and just playing the shuttle into the open space. That was magnificent. Yeah, more and more the women's singles players are emulating the men's singles players who throw themselves all around the court in an effort to get the shuttle back. Diving here, scrambling the shuttle back. It's all so athletic and dynamic. happened there didn't seem to move her feet yeah was she gonna leave it just watch her movement here oh no her ankle went her ankle went not badly well, was, I thought something had happened That's good. She's playing a lot more to the back of the court now, PV Sindhu, which is exactly what the Korean did to her in the second game. Two, one. Sindhu. Takes a long time to serve, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. now that's what she meant to do in the Service last over. rally. Two, Get four. your opponent taking the shuttle late in the deep forehand corner. And then just play the black block into their backhand side like that previous rally of course PV Sindhu made the error on that backhand the right tactics Well, the little 
A yell of encouragement to herself at the end of that rally from PV Sindhu. She does have a remarkable record at this tournament. This is her fourth appearance and the fourth time she's been in at least the semi final Service stage. Over. Three, four. Of course, she won the title three years ago. It's landed in. Service over. Service over. Four, three. Yeah, there's no question now, certainly on this court, the, the shuttle holding up, coming towards us. And there's a fair bit of air conditioning on. I can certainly feel a little breeze behind my back. And, of course, that air conditioning can affect the flight of the shuttle. So that gets switched Five, on or switched three. up. Can alter the playing conditions. Yeah, there's that backhand block across court again. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. Deep into the forehand corner. How many times Six, have we seen that? Three. That must be at least three times in this third and deciding game. Ah, Coach Madhu has obviously spotted something. And PV Sindhu is executing well. Look at that punch clear. Deep into the forehand. And she, then she's following up to try and take it early at the net. In that instance, she didn't need to. Mm. Thank you. Puzzled look on the... F oh, yes, now. Something about getting back it's quicker or... Beyond. Not quite sure. Uh, Parks and Tai Sang. Yeah. Maybe spotted something he's going to talk about at the mid-game interval. Seven, three. There's a certain spring in the step now from Sindhu. Pick the shuttle up. Purposeful walk back to the base position to get ready to serve. Yeah, deep forehand again. Oh, that's unlucky. That's unlucky from Eight, Sung Ji Hyung. Three. Deflection of the net cord took the shuttle wide. Yeah, look at that. Crikey. That was a big deflection. Mm. Nine. Oh, three. Surely she knows about the sideways drift, yeah. Drawing that shot, hitting with the drift is going to go quite a long way wide. Six straight points from PV Sindhu. Mm. Ten, three. Seven straight points. That's good play. Uh, she over. desperately needs to try Four, and ten. narrow this deficit before the change of ends. Sung Ji Hyung.
Well, apart from that winning smash, there was only one shot played towards the front of the court from PV Sindhu in that last rally. There must have been 10 shots to the back of the court. Power play, having worked her opponent. Yeah, look at the recovery there. It's not just movement to the shuttle, it's a movement after you've hit the shuttle. Getting back to the base position, and when that's slow, unlikely to get the next shot. Yeah, he's looking very concerned now, isn't he, Park? Mm. Now, I wonder if that's... If your opponent hits anything down, don't try blocking it. Play it to the back of the court. Hitting against the drift, and therefore it's likely to stay in. Keep her to the back as long as possible before she's really out of position. And then you play to the net. I wonder. So the six-point advantage for Fusala Venkata Sindhu. I might be Four. right about Five. interpreting the tactics from Coach Park. The problem is, is that PV Sindhu in that rally was just too aggressive. And it's an awfully dangerous tactic. Just keep lifting it, playing it to the back. You've got to be played with disguise. Here we go. It's going wide. Oh, she's taken it. It's a good rally. It's a very good rally. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, that was a battle of wills. Five. Yep. Sung Ji Hyung still not upright, bent double. And that was a tired, tired looking shot. That final error from her. Well, the match clock ticks over the hour mark. And it's no wonder. Certainly, Sung Ji Hung looks to be feeling the pace of this match. Goodness. And again, I don't believe it. How on earth did she get that back? And she didn't just get it back, she got it back with interest. She was in all sorts of trouble. Look at this, taking it late, deep forehand side on her knees as she played the winner. And she played it to perfection. Yeah. And look at the frustration. What can I do about that? Yeah. No wonder she's taking her time. Played the rally well. And it was just a moment of magic from her opponent that enabled Sindhu to win the rally.
Mm, a little dispute over whether the shuttle should be changed or not. Umpire agrees with Sung Ji Hyung. Great Service disguise on, on that shot. Six, four, and just no power left in the legs of Sindhu. Push off from that. That is a terrific 15, block six. once again from PV Sindhu. My goodness me, well, she said she'd been working on her defence. That is just incredible. And sometimes you've just got to say, well, my opponent's hit a great shot. Let's forget it. Let's get on with the next rally. Oh, that's nice. Over. Now that's what Park Seven. Tai Sang was Seven. asking for earlier, I'm sure. The variation on the attacking play doesn't all have to be power when hitting in a downward direction. Sometimes the slow drop, sometimes the fast drop, sometimes a half smash, as long as you're playing it with disguise. Just like that. Eight, 15. Just rolls the racket head across the line of the shuttle. Watch the racket head. Look at that. Oh, the Danes call that a windscreen wiper shot. It's a bit like the in your car, the wiper blades going across the windscreen. That's what she was doing so, so well 16, in the opening game. Eight. Getting to the net first, controlling the net, playing shots with disguise. Look at that. Once again, when you take the shuttle early, you've got so many options. Now yeah. oh, she's on a roll now, isn't she? 17, the former eight. champion. TV Sindhu it looks as if she's about to make it through to a second final here at the Malaysia Grand Prix Gold event. in the deep forehand corner, both of them, and both of them getting themselves Service into difficulty. Nine, 17. Yeah, do, was she thinking of leaving it? I don't know. Woefully late in taking it. Good aggression. Yeah, so and I can tell you, Sung Ji Hyung 18, has nine. just tossed her racket in the air and failed to catch it. Such is the frustration. Look how short that lift was. Yeah, and again, there's a little spring in the step of PV Sindhu. 
three points needed for a place in the final once more. Mm. Well, she doesn't like the call, Sung Ji Hyung. She thought that was wide. Oof. Goodness me, I'm glad I'm not a line judge. I wouldn't like to have called that. Mighty close. Two points now from a second final here at the Malaysia Masters. Oh, no, that's nice. Yeah, that shows good character after the frustration of what she believed was a bad call. Play an outright winner on the very next rally. That's good. But one suspects it's too little too late. That is an amazing smash from PV Sindhu. Got right behind the shuttle. She's been caught deep in her forehand corner. That time got behind it and thundered it straight down the line. And now a whole host of match point opportunities. Yeah. Only needed the one. 21-19, 12-21, in the deciding game. Match won by PV Sintu, 21-19, 12, 21-21, 10. Yes, the umpire confirming the score. An hour and nine minutes in total from start to finish. What a match, what a great women's singles semi-final. But Pusala Venkata Sindhu, three years after she won the title, uh, will contest the final tomorrow for a second Malaysian Open Grand Prix gold title. She takes lead of, of the court. And a rather dejected Sanji Hyung the number one seed well she was well beaten in the deciding game So what a thrilling match for our first match on semi-finals day. We've got four more to come. We're going to women's doubles next. And the number six seeds, Yu Yang and Tang Kuan Ting, looking for a sixth final in their sixth tournament together. They're up against number two seeds from Korea. Uh, then we'll have men's singles. And the number two seed Shrikanth against Zinudin.
from Malaysia. And then men's doubles and finish with Lee Chong Wei, the former world number one and four time former champion. He will be our last match against Tommy Sugiato. Well, looking at the women's doubles draw from quarter final onwards, and as you can see, only three different nations involve five Chinese, five Japanese pairs.